Hi, this is TJR. And this is Robert Kinsler. And we're getting together today. Uh, we want to talk about the unfortunate passing of Marty Ballin. Yeah, who was a co-founder of Jefferson Airplane. Exactly. And uh, uh, a noted singer, not just for being a member of Jefferson Airplane, but also Jefferson Starship. Yeah, yeah. Jefferson Airplane, of course, one of the founding members. And then, of course... Um, later rejoined when the band rebooted as right. Jefferson Starship rejoined not too far into the reboot right I think just an album or so as yeah. I recall yeah it was been very early on he was brought back in by by uh, his friends from Jefferson Airplane and then of course he did have a solo career too he did which he doesn't did. get talked about too much yeah but we just want to take a moment. He passed away. It was on Thursday, right? Right on Thursday, September twenty seventh. And and you know it's funny. It, it uh, just because of the whatever the news cycle or just other things going on. You know, you did see things about it, but not too much. And I was really surprised because I mean, the Jefferson uh, Airplane was a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, and uh, the major major sixties band to come out of the Bay Area, mm-hmm. uh, and kind of at the forefront of the psychedelic movement that people associate with the latter part of the 1960s. Yes, you know? absolutely. One of the better known bands. And yet I think that one of the, uh, one of the problems uh, is that in spite of his huge contributions to the band, when people think of Jefferson Airplane, they tend to, and, and I'm talking not hardcore fans, I'm talking just casual listeners, when they think of that band, they tend to think of Grace Slick. They do. As yeah. the one member whose name they know. Um, others might uh, others might think of the other band members after that, but they tend to think of her first. And they're gonna, and that's because they're going to think of the hit singles, White Rabbit and Somebody to Love. Right, yeah, they're, they're two gonna, iconic those, singles. Those two iconic singles, they're going to think of those first. But Marty Ballin's contribution had a, made a huge contribution to that band, and he was one of the founding members. And so we want to take a moment just to kind of talk a little bit about his legacy. Yeah, de- definitely. And I, and I think we should because, uh, like we talked about, I mean, this is what's so amazing about Jefferson Airplane is that, you know, they emerged, I think, in 1965, Surrealistic Pillow was their huge, huge album that came out in mm-hmm. 1967, and and uh, but he left um, uh, that band in 1971, and and I think they broke up shortly after he left because he was a critical member, and then like you said, Jefferson Starship formed with Paul Kantner and Grace Slick, and he rejoined them not long after, and it was really his contributions as a vocalist and a songwriter that kind of got Jefferson Starship into the stratosphere because they ultimately, I mean, it's funny to think about it, mm-hmm. but they had many more commercially huge hits mm-hmm. than than Jefferson Airplane did, even though Jefferson Airplane might be more, um, you know, more lauded critically and mm-hmm. more influential as far as being part of that early rock mm-hmm. era. 60s but, era. Yeah, but, but Jefferson Starship had some tremendously big hits, and, and before Mickey Thomas, you know, joined, it was pretty much... Um, Marty Ballin's voice that people associate with uh, yeah. that early uh, period of Starship. And for the more casual listeners out there, the one song that you may or you know that may take you a moment to realize, oh, really? That's right. Uh, was Miracles, which featured him on lead vocals, and it was, and he wrote that song, and he wrote that song too. Right. Yeah, and uh, so you know that was the, probably the first really big hit for Jefferson Starship. It was, and and you know, Red Octopus. I still count that as one of the most interesting. And and just all around great albums from the nineteen seventies. Um, I think it came out in nineteen seventy five or so. Mm-hmm. Just a brilliant album. I mean, there's like an instrumental on it. There's like uh, you know like jam rock on it. I mean, it's very diverse. It's something that you just typically wouldn't hear today. And yet tapping into, I think always the band members' experimental touch. And and uh, Craig Chikiso was a young guitar player doing some great things on there too. Mm-hmm. Just a very very good album. And and we talked about miracles. Miracles almost seven minutes long, mm-hmm. and yet, and it's in it. Okay, uh, a top forty hit. Yeah, a top forty hit. I know there's a single added on it, but just a great song. And and then they had some other songs, kind of like those. I'd say kind of like R and B rock ballads that that Marty Ballin sang, um, including "Count on Me" was another big hit they had, and uh, "Runaway" was another great song. 
they had. And With Your Love was also a big song that I know people have, uh, mm. will probably remember with his vocals. Yeah, yeah. So he was, like I said, a real key player, especially the band's uh, 1970s. Um, Their early you know, formative stages as this rebooted version. R- exactly, yeah. exactly. And when he left the band, and I want to say that was pretty much at the end of the 70s, he did go on and have a solo career. And, and I know his biggest uh, single that I recall was in the early 1980s. And it was called Hearts, and that's not a song you hear much on the radio now. But maybe with his passing, maybe a, maybe we'll you know we will hear it more, or people that are listening to this uh, you know this episode yeah. can also check it out. And and he was a fantastic uh, singer with a great tenor tenor voice. Mm-hmm. You were mentioning that the uh, Grammy uh, Museum. Actually, no, the Recording Academy. Recording Academy. Right. Grammy, which, yeah, the Recording Academy, in case anybody doesn't know, is the Grammy Awards. Exactly. Uh, that they made some uh, some statements about him, about his passing. Right. Now, we're taping this on September 30th, and right before we got together to to, to tape this, they uh, uh, Neil Portnow, who's the president and CEO of the Recording Academy, he issued a statement, and I won't read all of it. Uh, people can probably go on their yeah. website and check that out. But they say... Um, uh, Ballin was honored with the Recording Academy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016 for his outstanding artistic contributions to the field of recording. Ballin was a pioneer of psychedelic rock and will be remembered for bringing the signature sound to San Francisco and beyond. And then they go on to, you know, with their condolences to his family and, mm-hmm. and bandmates, which is very nice. But, you know, he did have a significant impact on, on music and, you know, a lot of things that have been built and come after, whether it was The Grateful Dead or or you know other jam bands and stuff a lot of that you can trace back to jefferson airplane and if you listen to red octopus to jefferson starship as well very true um one thing i would recommend to anybody who is you know listening to this right now and is thinking well you know uh gee i wish i'd paid more attention you know maybe i didn't really know about his contributions that much um, a great playlist to get started with if you have spotify npr Music NPR Radio, uh, they of course the day that he passed on they did a, a nice little article about him. But they published their own playlist on Spotify from NPR um, about Marty Ballin. If you just Google search, you know Marty Ballin NPR, you'll find the article and you'll find the link for the Spotify playlist that covers a. They, they, it's kind of like they're calling it like the best of, mm-hmm. and um, in, in, I think the place I can't be hundred percent certain. I think the place was called in memory of Marty Bellin. I can't look it up on my phone right now because we're using my phone yeah. to record this, but <laughs> um, but it was a. Um, it covered his work both with Jefferson Airplane and with Jefferson Starship, and it was very. It was it was it was a really good. I thought a good retrospective playlist to check out. Uh, if you're, you know, if saying, if you're listening to this and saying, you know, I, I'm, you know, maybe I should have heard a little bit more. Maybe I should have checked this out a little closer. Please go to that playlist. It's just a starting point. Yeah, I think that, I think they did a good job with that playlist, giving uh, casual listeners a starting point, and also longtime fans who are, you know, who are more into the group, a, a nice, a nice way to uh, a good, a good su- playlist summary of, of his work. Yeah. So a nice job with that, I think. Yeah, I need to de- check that as well because I'm glad you brought that to my attention. You know, and and um, one thing that um, you know maybe what I might wrap up with this is mm-hmm. that there's over the years there's been so many bands continue to to emerge. You know, mm-hmm. and and the and obviously the '50s '60s that's kind of the genesis of rock and roll. But as we lose these people, it makes you realize. You know that we are losing them. So if you have a chance to go see some of the greats, like I know Marty Ballin was recording up until a few years ago. I never, I unfortunately had never got to see him. I had seen Starship, but after he had left, mm-hmm. and I wish now I had mm-hmm. gone gone and seen him live because he is one of the the greats from that era, and I didn't get a chance to see him. So if you do have a chance, whether it's through his recordings or through why these people are playing live, you know, delve into it. And uh, a lot of time there's some real jewels in the catalog that yeah. that you've not heard either or seen on MTV or, or whatever. And it's a, and, and definitely explore because a lot of great music out there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I guess we'll, we'll leave it at that. And, um, you know, if uh, as always, if you have anything you'd like to share about your experiences with, uh, with the music of uh, Marty Ballin, his work, whether it be his work with Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Starship, or his solo work, if there's any songs you'd like to talk about or anything you'd like to share about any live music experiences, 
please, please share them with everybody here in the comment section. Uh, I know that I will look forward to reading what you have to say. Robert will too. And please share it with everybody else. And uh, yeah, and uh, it's it's always unfortunate yeah. when we lose these people. And uh, but uh, but there, but just always remember their music is there. Everybody, thank you so much as always for watching, and we'll uh, we'll we'll see you in more videos soon. Take care. Okay. See Bye -bye. you later, everybody.